Uh, now we open the, the questions and comments. Uh, and we start now uh, by Dr. Jehan. The next questions for Dr. Jehan. Okay. Where we have 10 miles, we have a wild type tobacco where it is 
you know, we have 10 mites and you have control, then we don't treat with any tobacco. And uh, then we, if you challenge control mites with tobacco, nothing happens. If you challenge with wild type tobacco, treated with uh, challenge with protein, basically, with tobacco, IV protein, if you challenge it, you can be free. When you sensitize with the protein, it will have Any comment? Uh, any question for Dr. Hara? Dr. Hara Isa? Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Before I turn on the bureaucrat, I have worked on weed also. That's why probably I, I follow with that. Uh, my standards is 20% increase. It's very dramatic when your drought resistance work. So where is the material now? Just, that's one question. Second one is on the rest. I'm just sensing, I, I, is there any possibility of resistance breakdown? Because if breakdown comes, if it's not race specific, it's, it's, it's going to be a disaster. This is, that's what's going to happen. The, so, so the second one is not specific for you. That's a general question. Anyone can answer it. It's about uh, GM wheat. One of the arguments we are, the counter arguments we are having, in our region is that why do you push maize on us? When the West starts to eat GM wheat, who will accept GM maize? And I know with the, Monsanto has developed I think herbicide resistance wheat, but it's not commercialized. Why? For the first question, uh, all our uh, materials are preserved and propagated every uh, season as a, again, uh, at our farm, at our institute farm. Uh, uh, Why it is not commercialized? Because uh, as I mentioned the problem, we are, as the evidence, we are all more and easier. We don't have yet law to uh, manage the commercialization of GM. Okay, and uh, this is why our experiment in 2011 was now there is no any critical view for, for what is coming out here, except no. GM or not. Okay, before that, this this work was uh, approved in, in our uh, uh, plan for our institute by the governments. Okay, but now there is no law to. Uh, uh, to go further or if this is will be commercialized or not. But I keep that transgenic. Even I keep for from every generation I keep someone's in, in safe place to uh, just be given when they approve it, it will be available for breeders to use it as an extra source for of uh, uh, regimes. Uh, for the type regime, uh, all our comparing is comparing to them in, in the wild type of gun, uh, transgenic Okay, so uh, it has in our environment it has ATS for uh, 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 susceptibility for the uh, bee trust. So uh, uh, this is uh, uh, proves that this is our gene is the reason for uh, uh, for this resistance. Okay, of course we have facing we I just mentioned we have 72 transgenic plants. Some of our lines have another problem that we uh, arise for uh, uh, normally with uh, some transgenic that have uh, some gene silencing for the transgenic. But some now we have, uh, as soon as the levels of those walls, uh, I think uh, the first uh, generation and still uh, working. So we have to monitor this very carefully uh, if there is some transgenic uh, uh, silencing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> The last question, I think this is maybe over for our discussion. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, please hear. Uh, just I'm asking about the strength of 
passages for uh, rust disease you used. Because we know as the readers in traditional reading, uh, a theory, gene to gene theory, there is always uh, some uh, for vertical resistance. We grow some corn to eat susceptible after yeah. seven years periods. So how many strains do you uh, uh, actually, this part of work, I, I, I cannot reply or cannot answer your question because this is this part of whatever uh, strength he used. This is, was done by uh, Dr. Mustafa Shemi at Gun Plasma Protection Institute. And I think he has a collection of various strains that already uh, found during this uh, uh, field testing in Egypt because this is was open field and uh, the uh, um, uh, the further uh, was cultivated was acceptable, uh, was acceptable like and so you saw the picture of what is that, uh, what degree of possibility or infestation was the uh, uh, borderlines. Okay? And again the comparing is not to other uh, uh, genotypes comparing between transgenic line and non-transgenic uh, parent and not comparing it with another tolerant line. Because this is why I, I want to, to see if the transgenic had an effect or not. Okay, so the comparing not to uh, another tolerant for this specific strain. Okay, so my transgenic would be another add or for the breeders to add value to the breeder to combine it with another resistant uh, genes by by regular breeding. Okay. All right, but just what what you. Opinion about it's a very uh, cost possible to use uh, uh, transgenic uh, weed to just uh, tolerate uh, one strain of uh, or few strains because even if we are breeding for horizontal resistance, uh, it will be last for a little bit more, but anyway, at the end, it will be susceptible. No, no. So, our, our gene is, is, is not like minor genes from adult genes. It, 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 it acts like it, it, you know, it cut down or degrades the calculus, which is a major uh, uh, part in the uh, fungal world. Okay? So it is a major gene, not like a quantitative, you know, it's not like quantitative traits. And not specific. You know, the reason is, uh, last, as I mentioned, uh, the wheat have an indigenous cultivation, and our gene is already isolated from barley, so it's very relevant. But uh, the effect is about the promoter. In our transgenic, mm -hmm. the cultivation gene is expressed at all times. Okay, so when the fungus come to attack, he can break it easily. Then the indigenous when it is upregulated and take time to upregulate, this is the time when the fungus attacks the plant. This is not like a... We need some more work. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, somebody, uh, hand up here, yes. I'm Rabbi from India. Mm -hmm. uh, Hello, you have done a good presentation of her. First question is, uh, why do you want to really produce GM for a biotrophic method? Myotrophic pathogens, what I mean is both rust and powder reduce. We have series of uh, resistance sources, wonderfully available throughout the world. So, instead of going for GMOs in a pathogen system, which is highly specific, and there are very highly, that's why we get races in path rust and uh, powder reduce. So, why, why was the necessity there when we could breed wonderfully with uh, available material and resistance with both of these pathogens. Number one. And number two question, do you have hybrid weeds? Hybrid Hybrid, commercial hybrid production, weed production. No, I don't think so. Okay, but for the first question, that uh, genetic engineering is, like I said, it's an unvalued. It's another source for variation for the feeders. But this is a necessity. But why it is necessary in Egypt to produce a fungal resistant lines uh, uh, either through regular breeding or so uh, genetic engineering, I think all Egyptians know that some strains sometimes came and take over our meat production, which is already 50 or more than 
50 percent of our world, uh, of our consuming. So if, if something uh, came like uh, the screen UG99, which came from Uganda, we will will not find any product free. So I, I, that's very why I say that if at all we have to give priority, it has to be for pathogens which are orthodontic or which are basically can eat or produce enzymes and degrade the plant cells. This is where it's not going to kill the plant where you have already wonderful races which are appearing in rust. If suppose you go on breeding. So there is a continuous process. My point is, in priority wise, kinase has been used extensively for soil bone or polyphagous type of pathogens. That is what my point. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hara Santiago. Uh, we want to take our break, but uh, after the last question, yes, question for Dr. Yukaria. Uh, yes, please. Join us. 